Good morning from Brazil and a very warm welcome to the conference to celebrate the 30 years of the Southern Brazilian Journal of Chemistry. I am Luis De Boni and I am currently the chief editor of the Southern Brazilian Journal of Chemistry and I have been working on this project since the year 2004. On behalf of the Southern Brazilian Journal of Chemistry, I would like to thank you, all the authors, reviewers, and all the other honorable guests present for gracing this occasion. This opening ceremony was divided in three parts. The acknowledgments, the history of the journal, and the future of the journal. Acknowledgements. There are several authorities here today. We will acknowledge them all, but I will start acknowledgements with someone that's no longer around us, the former editor of the Southern Brazilian Journal of Chemistry, Dr. Lavinel Ionescu. Thank you very much for having the courage to create this free and independent journal. Now let's acknowledge some of our international partners. From Georgia, Ilha State University, Dr. David Tarnishvili and Dr. Ketvan Kukapadazi. Zalin Didima Dobla. From Kazakhstan, Stabayev University, Dr. Bolad Kuspanglayev and Dr. Zanar Zujmilinov. Kup Hakmiet. From Russia, Sashinov, First Moscow State Medical University, Dr. Oleg Admakin, Dr. Andrei Sebitov and Dr. Anton Timoshi. Boshoi, Splasiba, from South Korea, I Know Space, Dr. Song Jong Kim and Dr. Elcio de Oliveira. Behu, Kansa Nida, from Nigeria, University of Eilurin, Dr. Suman Abdulkarim and Dr. Atolani Olubumi. Thank you very much. From Ecuador, Universidade Técnica de Ambato, Dr. Galo Lopes and Dr. Diana Fialos. Muchas gracias. From Colombia, Universidade Distrital Francisco José de Caldas, Dr. Ricardo Duarte and Dr. Fred Sarmiento. Muchas gracias. From Venezuela, Universidade de Los Andes, Dr. Mario Rossini and Dr. Gerson Delgado. Muchas gracias. From Argentina, Instituto de Investigaciones en Físico Química de Córdoba, da Universidade Nacional de Córdoba, Dr. Sergio Dacier and Dr. Walter Pelais. Muchas gracias. De Argentina também, La Facultad de Ciencias Químicas da Universidade Nacional de Córdoba. Dr. Marcelo Mariscal and Dr. Walter Pelais. Muchas gracias. From Brazil, Universidade do Estado do Rio de Janeiro. Dr. Ricardo Ribeiro, Dr. Mônica Marques and Dr. Sérgio Correia. Muito obrigado. Universidade Federal do Rio Grande do Norte. Dr. José Melo and Dr. Francisco Lima. Muito obrigado. O Instituto de Pesquisas energéticas e nucleares, Dr. Wilson Calvo e Dr. Denise Fungaro. Muito obrigado. O Instituto Federal Sul-Rio Grandense, Dr. Flávio Nunes e Dr. Daniel Arsandi. Muito obrigado. O Instituto Federal do Rio de Janeiro, Campus Duque de Caxias, Dr. Maria Pinheiro e Dr. Aline dos Santos. Muito obrigado a Universidade Federal do Recôncavo da Bahia, Dr. Fábio dos Santos e Dr. Jorge de Menezes. Muito obrigado. O Instituto Tecnológico da Aeronáutica, Dr. Anderson Correia e Dr. René Gonçalves. Muito obrigado. A Associação Brasileira de Química, Dr. Renato Evangelista e o Master of Sciences, Leandro Camacho. Muito obrigado ao Conselho Regional de Química da Quinta Região, Dr. Paulo Falavena e Master of Science Leandro Camacho. Muito obrigado. To the Brazilian Space Agency, Dr. Carlos Moura 
and Dr. Fábio Santos. Muito obrigado. And from Brazil, our first hosting university, from the state of Rio de Janeiro, the University of Vassouras, Dr. Marco Antônio Soares de Souza, Dr. Carlos Eduardo Cardoso, Dr. Letícia Gomes, and Master of Science, Lígia Santos. Muito obrigado. To our team, the ones that I haven't already mentioned, from Romania, Oana Popa, from Portugal, Teresa Roseiro, from Iraq, Shaima Banum and Intsar Sharba, from Indonesia, Adrian Saputra, from Russia, Olga Poleseva, from Argentina, Christian Quintero, from Egypt, Ala Mohamud, from Colombia, Roberto Fernandes, from India, Bavana Ambukar, and now from Brazil, Rafael Oliveira, Marcos Clank, Mazurquedio Coimbra, Paulo Souza, Daniele Moura, Isaac da Silva, Gabriel Rubensan, and Roseli Genari. To the Ethics Committee, Dr. Luiz Alberto De Boni, my father, and Dr. Marco Antonio Goldani, the father of Dr. Goldani. Thank you very much. And of course, to all the authors who have attended to this conference, it would be impossible to make the celebration without you. The history of the journal. The Southern Brazilian Journal of Chemistry was established in 1993 by Dr. Lavinel Ionesco. This journal was created to provide a space for scientists to publish the result of their research. Dr. Ionesco was the editor-in-chief of the journal from 1993 to 2016, the year that I was invited to become the editor. Dr. Ionesco had a great influence in establishing at least three scientific journals in Brazil, some of which had achieved results that no other Brazilian journal has achieved before. I met Dr. Ionesco by the year 2003, and I started to participate in this project around 2004. Today, I can say that working with Dr. Ionesco was a great adventure, and I have learned a lot. The way that he conducted the journal was extremely professional and memorable. Every Wednesday morning, we were working on the journal. I still can remember that he used the mail to communicate with the authors. For some reason, he didn't like the email. Nowadays, I understand why. It was very interesting to see the journal receiving letters from different countries and how hard it was to send them back to some countries as they were returned by the mail service. Several years later, one day, Professor Ionesco told me, you will be promoted in the journal. Now you will be assistant editor. It was the first time in my career that I was promoted on a job. And it was not a problem that it was a voluntary job. By 2015 and 2016, I was appointed to be the chief editor. And as a stubborn person, I said no, 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 no. But then, life happened, and I couldn't say no anymore. The coming years were a little difficult for the journal, but thanks to the goodwill of the team and the authors, we stand here today together, not as a collection of scientists, but as friends. And as time went by, the journal approached the 30 years. We were thinking about what to do to celebrate then one of my colleagues had the idea to make a conference. Please allow me to paraphrase him. He said, well, I have a great idea every 20 years or so. Then we start to talk with some friends and here we are today. God knows how blessed this journal is for having you all as friends and for your trust in this journal. Thank you very much. Now, 
Let's talk about the future of the journal. As you know, the Southern Brazilian Journal of Chemistry is completing 30 years, and the production cycle has come to an end. It's time to renew our energies, and we will make big modifications in the structure of the journal and in the management style. Starting by the title of the journal, it will change from Southern Brazilian Journal of Chemistry to Southern Journal of Sciences. The journal logo will also change from this to this. These modifications will also be extended to the journal ISSN and possibly to our DOI number. We are working in collaboration with the respective agencies to complete this task as soon as possible. The journal scope is also changing from chemistry and general related topics to science and the related topics. As we prefer an interdisciplinary approach for the journal, it reflects better the path that the journal has took over the most recent period. The domain name of the journal was also improved from spjchain.com to sjofsciences.com. Regarding the management of the journal, I have learned that it's not good to be the editor-in-chief for a lifetime. Therefore, the new editor-in-chief will work in this position for a period of two years, one plus one year. The new editor-in-chief will receive support from the new assistant editors. The assistant editors will count on the journal council support. And as up to this moment, please allow me to introduce the new editor-in-chief of the Southern Journal of Sciences, our colleague from Argentina, from the University of Córdoba, Dr. Walter Pelais. Continuing with the modifications, the new assistant editors with new responsibilities are from Georgia, Ailey State University, Dr. Ketvan Kukapadazi. From Iraq, Misan University, Dr. Shaima Banun. From Argentina, Maza University, Dr. Christian Quintero. And from Brazil, Instituto Federal do Rio de Janeiro, Dr. Aline Maria dos Santos. This list will grow and it will be completely available in a few weeks. I will assist the journal by assuming the newly created position of Journal General Secretary. I believe that during this new phase of the journal, we will increase the ties of brotherhood and friendship among our countries and institutions. After these short announcements, I hope that we can keep in touch for the next 30 years and I declare the conference open. Thank you very much.